let's be friends. Join me as we adventure to several wonderful places in the Philippines and have a live view how it is in our visit. Ride with me in my ever so faithful cafe for 100 motorcycle and together let's check out some coffee shops, restaurants, resorts and many many more wonderful places in this beautiful country that others may not even know that exist. Today's journey begins from Santa Rosa Tagate Road, the highway teeming with history and development. We'll snake through the serene countryside of Laguna, ascend the cooler climbs of Tagate, and make our way to the charming Buenaventura's Garden Cafe, nestled along the Tagate Bypass Road. But first, do like, share and subscribe. Yes, like, share and subscribe here in Lobo Viajero YouTube channel, and you will be so blessed. So now, let the adventure begins. Kicking off early from the bustling Santa Rosa Tagate Road, the crisp morning air invigorates the senses. This route has long been a vital connection between urban Laguna and the breezy heights of Tagate. Decades ago, this was merely a narrow road carved amidst coconut groves and rice paddies, but modernization and tourism have transformed it into a vibrant artery lined with establishments catering to every type of travelers. As we throttle through the gentle inclines, our bike sums contentedly beneath us. The roadside is dotted with small eateries and fruit stalls hawking pineapples a staple of Tagate. But our eyes are set on the horizon where the misty ridge of Tagate reveals itself promising cool air and jaw-dropping views. This region carries a legacy of resilience and community. During World War II, the Tagate Ridge played a strategic role in the liberation of Luzon. Filipino troops traversed these terrains taking advantage of its commanding views to survey movements. Riding along these roads today feels like tracing the steps of history where every bend tells a story of courage and endurance. The development of the Takate Bypass Road itself is a nod to the area's evolving infrastructure. It serves as a welcome detour for travelers seeking less congested paths, offering a quieter ride and showcasing Takate's rural charms away from the city's bustling tourism hotspots. For every motorcycle enthusiast, the machine is more than just a vehicle, it's a companion, an expression of freedom and often a tool for personal storytelling. The Carfe 400, with its blend of retro charm and modern reliability, is one of those bikes that becomes an extension of its rider. Whether it's the early morning ride through mountain passes or a sunset cruise along the coast, the Carfe for 100 versatility makes it an ideal companion. The hum of its engine is not just a sound, but a rhythm that syncs with the rider's heartbeat creating an almost meditative experience on the road. With a carving through mountain roads, cruising coastal highways or navigating the hum of the city. This motorcycle embodies the spirit of adventure. But why do we ride the Carfe for 100? Who is why it holds a special place in the hearts of riders. At first glance, the Carfe for 100 exudes vintage elegance. Its minimalist aesthetic, round headlamp and sleek fuel tank echo the Carfe races of the 1960s and not to an era when motorcycles were stripped down for speed and style.
Moreover, the Carfe 400 adaptability invites personal touches from custom paint jobs to upgraded exhaust systems. Each bike becomes a reflection of its owner's personality, turning heads while telling a unique story. Here beneath the nostalgic design lies a machine equipped with modern engineering. The 400 CCS engine provides just the right balance of power and efficiency, perfect for spirited rides without being overbearing. In this duality classic looks paired with contemporary performance is why the Carfe 400 resonates. It's a bike that connects us to the past while firmly rooting us in the present offering the best of both worlds for riders who appreciate aesthetics as much as functionality. Here now, Buenaventura Ras Carfo sits like a hidden gem, framed by lush greenery and an inviting rustic facade. Stepping inside, you're greeted with the scent of freshly brewed coffee and the vibrant hues of native flowers. The Garden Carfo is more than a dining spot, it is a sanctuary. Located along the Takate Bypass Road, the cafe is easily accessible and offers ample parking making it convenient for both casual diners and road-tripping adventurers. As we step into Buenaventura's Garden Cafe, you are immediately embraced by the soothing ambience of nature. The cafe setting is its standout feature, with an open garden layout filled with native plants, vibrant flowers and well-placed garden furniture. The blend of natural and rustic design creates a peaceful atmosphere, perfect for unwinding or catching up with friends and family. The owners have lovingly integrated their love for gardening with a passion for hospitality, resulting in a haven that's as picturesque as it is relaxing. Wooden tables and chairs under shaded pergolas give the place a homey touch, while subtle lighting enhances its coziness in the evening. The gentle hum of the breeze and the occasional chirping of birds add to the experience, making it feel like a hidden sanctuary away from the hustle and bustle of Tagate's main streets.
The staff here are accommodating and attentive. From the moment we arrive, we greet it with genuine smiles and quick service. The team is knowledgeable about the menu and more than happy to make recommendations based on your preferences. Their attention to detail ensures that your experience is smooth and enjoyable. Welcome to Benaventura's Garden Cafe. Here at Pasito Milaginor, Tagaytay City. So thank you very much, Mr. Lobo Piero, for visiting us here in Benaventura's Garden Cafe. So please follow, like, and subscribe, Mr. Lobo Piero. Thank you. The menu does not disappoint. Local favorites prominently alongside fresh garden to table options. Every bite and sip feels like an embrace of the region's heart and soul. For me, the yummy balsamic adobo and kava latte are the ultimate duo, blending comforting flavors with a touch of sophistication. The adobo is a delightful twist on the classic Filipino dish where the traditional soy vinegar base is elevated with the rich tan and subtle sweetness of balsamic vinegar. The tender meat infused with a medley of savory sweet and tangy flavors falls apart with every bite, leaving a satisfying burst of umami on the palate. It's a dish that stays true to its roots while embracing a modern gourmet edge. Paired with perfectly steamed rice, it's hearty and satisfying a true comfort food with a sophisticated flair. Now pairing that with a kaffa latte is like wrapping a meal in a warm hug. The latte with its creamy milk and robust espresso base provides the perfect counterpoint to the bold flavors of the adobo. The smooth velvety texture and slightly nutty undertones of the coffee balance the dish, beautifully offering a soothing end to each bite. The prices are reasonable, especially considering the quality of the food, the ambience, and the overall experience. Buenaventura strikes a fine balance between afford and premium service, making it a great value for money. The ride to Buena Ventura's Garden Cafe isn't just about the destination, it's about embracing the journey. The roads, the history and the flavors intertwine to create an experience that speaks to the motorcyclist's soul. In here, we ride the cafe for 100 because it's more than a machine, it's a lifestyle. It represents freedom, creativity and the pursuit of adventure. On its saddle, the world feels bigger. Possibilities endless and time slows to let us savor the ride. Understand, in every twist and turn, you find freedom. In every stop, you find stories. And as the engine rolls back to life, we are reminded that that road ahead holds endless possibilities each as fulfilling as the last. Thank you once more for joining us, and do stay tuned for many many more adventures to come. Truly, it's another beautiful day, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. But first do not forget to like, share and subscribe here in Lobo Viajero YouTube channel, and you shall be so blessed. Remember to always ride safe and ride another day. In other words, do not be a Carmody rider.